Hey guys, what's up? Alec back with the daily stock market and look at that, a fairly red day for stocks overall, individual stocks at least. We see Uber down 5%, Square down 5%, Snapchat down 3.6%. But today specifically is a very interesting video that you do not want to miss because it is the kickoff to earnings week is back officially and it comes full swing on Tuesday because before the open on Tuesday, we have Bank of America, we have Goldman Sachs, Johnson & Johnson, and Albertsons reporting. After the close, we have United, Interactive Brokers, Pinnacle, and so on. Now, Wednesday is when it really starts to heat up because before the open, we have Procter & Gamble, Morgan Stanley, U.S. Bank Corp., NASDAQ, Ally Bank, and Citizen Bank. After the close is the two scrutinized stocks, the most scrutinized stocks all week long that everyone's going to be paying attention to. So you want to have these on your radar. Wednesday after the close is Tesla and Netflix. Now, make sure you stay throughout this entire video because we're going to dive into Tesla and Netflix in this video. So if you want updates on those two stocks for earnings, you came to the right place. Before we jump any further, just smash a big thumbs up on this video. Subscribe on YouTube for all the full length videos and make sure you share with a friend also. Now, moving on to Thursday, we have another exciting stock because we have AT&T reporting. TSMC reporting. American Airlines is going to be interesting because remember we have United Airlines reporting after the close on Tuesday. So that could give us an idea of how American Airlines is going to report. Now we also have the Blackstone Group, Nokia, and that really rounds off our earnings week for this week, but it's just going to keep heating up as the weeks go on. So right now is the time to take advantage of the stock market earnings going on this week, next week, and the few months following. So let's start this video off with a banger and talk about Tesla stock. Tesla sitting at $251 per share. They went down 2.99% on Friday, and they're down 8.3% in the last month. They went as high as $276 per share in the last month, and in the last three months, they were as high as $293 per share. So you could pick them up at a little bit of a discount right now. Uh, $215 per share was the lowest price point in the last three months, so that's a great goal to be picking up some Tesla shares for long term if you set your price alerts. And remember, Tesla stock is up 111% just year to date. So early, earlier this year, you could pick Tesla up for as low as $110 per share. We probably won't see those prices ever again going that low, but let's go over what's in store for Tesla earnings. So right now we see some top questions and answers. And the top question right now is how many Cybertrucks deliveries do you anticipate for 2024, which is a very great question to be answering. Okay, so hopefully we'll get some clarification um, on that specific question. We also have questions like, when do you expect the Model 3 Highland to be available in US? Can you provide a progress update on the 4680 cell, particularly on the progress towards performance improvements and cost outlines battery day? Thank you. Could you please provide an update on capacity expansion plans for the company's factories in Berlin and Austin and the uh, uh, and the opening schedule of Gigafactory Mexico, which I think is also a very, very great question because that's three bullish things to be excited about. Berlin, Austin, and Mexico factories for Tesla. Why was the price dropped on full self-driving? if it's getting better and robo taxis are expected soon mercedes is accepting legal liability for when its level 3 autonomous driver system drive pilot is active is tesla planning to accept legal liability for full self driving and if so when that's another great question current sell side consensus assumes that tesla will deliver 2.3 million vehicles in 2024 representing 28 percent growth versus 2023 guidance is this growth rate achievable without any mass market launches in 2024 and when does tesla expect the return on its 50 percent long-term compounding annual growth rate so these are all great questions and they're all things to be watching out for during the earnings presentation and the earnings call on Tesla. Okay, so here we see Tesla reports after the close on Wednesday. Wall Street expects Tesla to earn 74 cents per share on revenue on their EPS, 
of two and revenue is supposed to be 24.16 billion. This compares to the year ago quarter when earnings came in at $1.05 per share and revenue was closer to $21.96 billion. So they're expected to report an increase on revenue, but a little bit of a decline on EPS, which really the stock market cares the most about EPS and earnings and profits way more than revenue right now. So Take that with a grain of salt. Take that into consideration. What to watch as with several of its large cap tech peers, Tesla stock has driven in reverse admin the recent pullback in tech. The shares have fallen more than 5% in the last 30 days compared to 2.6% of the S&P 500. The recent decline coincides with the fact that analysts have lowered the company's third quarter earnings estimates on the heels of Tesla reporting what some are calling a downbeat delivery data for the period earlier this month. Some estimates ahead of the October 2nd delivery report had been lowered to 456,000 from 473,000 at the end of July. The company, meanwhile, delivered 435,000 vehicles, which was down 6% sequentially. In an effort to boost deliveries, the EV giant has been in a vehicle price war for most of 2023 and has lowered its vehicle price by roughly 25% year over year, which is an extreme discount for anyone who bought in 2022. The company is still anticipating a volume of 1.8 million vehicles for the year. However, the 14 brand new EV models entering the fray during the third quarter, more competitions emerging. Tesla, meanwhile, is the only EV maker that consistently makes money. I'll read that again because it's that important. Tesla, meanwhile, is the only EV maker that consistently makes money. And that's what the stock market cares about right now. So therefore, in the stock market eyes, e, uh, Tesla is the best EV pick in the stock market. In this area, the company has little competition. Despite very aggressive reinvestments in the business, Tesla still has a massive cash hoard with relatively no debt on the balance sheet. Super bullish again and a great thing to reread to yourself. No debt on the balance sheet. All of this coupled with robust free cash flow, the company has $23 billion in cash and just $900 million in low interest debts. Until these fundamentals change, Tesla stock should be owned, not traded. So overall on Tesla, dollar cost averaging is the best way to go about it. And don't worry about trading a good earnings or bad earnings. Just own them for long term like the article is suggesting. suggesting. Now overall, this earnings is expected to be bearish and Tesla could tumble closer to $225 per share. And if that happens, I'm definitely considering it as a buying opportunity and I'll pick up a few shares of Tesla at $215, $225 per share is my price target. And I have price alerts set at that price also. So if Wednesday or Thursday morning when the stock opens after their earnings report, if they don't fall to 225 or 215, I still have those price alerts set. So once they go off, then I'll be buying some shares for long term. But overall, this earnings is expected to be pretty bearish for Tesla. Now, the next stock that we have to absolutely have to talk about this week reporting the same time as Tesla. So they're going to be moving after hours on Wednesday at the same time. So have them both on your watch list and track both of them. They're down 6.4%. It is Netflix at $354 per share. They're down 12% in the past month. And they're down 21% in the past three months. So the trend has definitely been down for Netflix. Uh, year to date, however, and uh, last 52 weeks have been up, up, up. They're still up 49% from lows to current price. And at a high of $477 per share, they were up 100% at one point. However, if you guys remember, if we rewind to 2021, November, they were around $690 per share. And then the stock went on to fall 73%, almost an unprecedented fall on Netflix stock. And that was in the span of just around six months time. 
right? Six, seven, eight months, somewhere in that ballpark. The stock just fell, fell, fell all the way down to $187 per share. Personally, I picked up some shares under $200 per share. Um, I think that te- uh, that Netflix has the potential to go under $300 per share again, and maybe even $315. So I have price alerts personally set at $320, $315, $305, and then $295 is where I want to pick up some shares of Netflix for long term. I believe in the stock for long term. However, there is still more downside risks um, even under $295 per share. So just be prepared for that. It is a riskier stock. We don't know what's going to happen exactly with streaming. Who's going to be the leader in streaming right now? Yes, it is Netflix, but in the next five, 10 years, that can definitely change with Apple and Amazon Prime, both huge competitors, Hulu, HBO Max, Disney Plus. Um, Tesla is the leader right now, but that doesn't mean that they always will be but they are doing a mighty fine job right now. So if the stock does fall, I'll be picking up some shares. Now, as far as Netflix is concerned, they have pulled back over the last three months, falling almost 20% with only a 2.7% decline in the S&P 500 index. While the shares are still up 20% year to date, besting the 13% rise of the S&P 500 index, investors aren't seemingly as chippier as they once were about the company's prospect just a few months ago. The stock was up at 1.60% on a year-to-date basis, which we kind of went over. Netflix pulled Netflix's pullback has been part of the large cap tech valuation concern igniting by rising interest rates. Okay, meanwhile, investors who are on the sidelines want to see if the recent decline as a buying opportunity, currently trading around $353 per share, Netflix still has a potential 30% return basis on a 12-month price target of four, $460 per share. Okay, the company's cracked down on password sharing, which should help boost uh, management's Q3 guidance for revenue and profits is one of the many reasons Netflix is posed to reach its consensus price target of $460 per share. UBS analyst John expects Netflix to add 6.5 million paid subscribers during the quarter. That's higher than the prior estimate of 3.6 million. Netflix is also operating more efficiently and is looking to capitalize on existing 238 million global subscribers through its ad-based plans. And we haven't even really seen the ad-based plans take off yet. So that's a very bullish thing for Netflix so far. The analyst John's expecting significant more paid subscribers during this quarter. Um, And we're also looking at subscribers increasing with the ad-based plans. What more? The company is now consistently producing positive free cash flow, which is stated to come in at $5 billion in 2023. This is driven by the expected one percentage point increase in the company's operating margin, among other fundamental improvements. All told, the company's growth initiatives are paying huge dividends, This makes a compelling case to remain invested in Netflix stock ahead of next week's quarterly results. So people, analysts, and everyone is still bullish on this earnings for Netflix. And if we look to see what analysts have to say about Netflix, we can see there's a 28% upside on average with a $457 price target. And in that article we were reading about, the analysts had a $460 price target. So you kind of see it is all falling in line. The highest is $600 and the biggest risks for Netflix in the next 12 months in analyst eyes is $325 per share. Keep in mind, it's currently sitting at $355 per share. So not much falling. The stock won't fall much in analyst eyes. Here we can see where those analysts are coming from. Five-star analyst Mark with a $500 price target just reiterated yesterday. Another 4.2 star analyst, $447 price target. And you can kind of see if I scroll down where these analysts are coming from. And a lot of these analysts, pretty much every single one, have over a $400 price target on Netflix in the next 12 months. And that's because what we went over in the article, they're growing subscribers like crazy. They can beat earnings estimates like crazy, especially if they're adding 6.5 million 
um, paid subscribers instead of the expected 3.5 million. So they could beat their numbers by a wide margin, which could propel the stock as high as 375, even $400 per share in the coming weeks. So keep your eye on te on Tesla and Netflix. They're both exciting stocks to be, to be bearish and bullish. Personally, bearish on Tesla, bullish on Netflix earnings. And if you want to see exactly what I'm personally doing, buying puts, buying calls, what strike prices, expiration dates, and everything in between, just message me on the daily stock market on Instagram. Now 216,000 followers, 838 posts. If you click on success number nine, you can read through all the positive testimonials. Over thousands of positive testimonials now and thousands of students have been helped with this program. Over $484 gain. Here we can see the daily stock market. Thanks for your hints and gain posts. I have started trading three months ago with 12k and i have gained over one thousand three hundred and fifty dollars profit over ten percent in the past three months and we can see some other students making even more over 96 percent gains in the past month thanks a lot alec this is since i joined your discord and close friends list and the list goes on and on so read through some of those positive testimonials yourself take 10 15 minutes and go through them reach out to me. I'll send you over an application so I can help you out the best way possible. And then I'll shoot you over my website so you can see all the prices, the plans. And if it makes sense to you and if it's inside your budget, then let's make some money together in the stock market. Thank you guys for being subscribed on YouTube and Instagram. Leave a comment down below. Drop a big thumbs up on this video and also share this video with a friend. I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, don't time the market, buy the market. Peace.